What I really love about being in a rowing boat is how close you are to the water. It was the very thing I thought I would fear the first time I did it. You know, being that exposed to spray and waves, potentially being sloshed or washed overboard. But I loved it because the oars were like extensions of my arms. I could feel the texture of the water. The moments of pure joy come when you're in sync, when you're rowing in the rhythm of the ocean, when your body is in this mechanical ballet with your boat, with the ocean. I love a good storm, I'll admit that. When the wind is howling and the waves are animated, there is so much energy in the atmosphere. It's a charged environment. When you get away from land, it goes very quickly from green to all sorts of incredible blues. And in fact, in the middle of an ocean, the blue is just dazzling. The sunlight continues way down because of the clarity of the water and splinters in a million ways. The first thing when you get near a continental shelf is you start to smell seafood, like the best smell of seafood, like lobster bisque type of smell. And then as you get nearer, then you get land itself. And the smell of land is basically like someone watered a fresh garden in summer. Wow, it's so good. Um, of course I have moments of fear, I think rowing an ocean brings those to the surface a lot more than any other ocean or sea voyage because you are a very small boat in a very big ocean. You're vulnerable, you have no means of propulsion other than what you can generate through your own body. Even the concept of that is sort of terrifying before you even leave. The reality once you get going is that you wake up, you, you go through this routine and each day goes by and it's in this way. I am lonely at sea only when everything is going just right. When there is a 60 foot whale that takes a breath right next to your boat, like three feet away and it makes you gasp. <gasps> and you wish you could turn around and that there'll be another person in your boat so that you could say, did you see that? So really loneliness, in my opinion, is the lack of being able to share a moment, lack of shared experience. What is success? What, what are my definitions of success for Rowing Pacific? Firstly, I'd say getting to the point of departure, getting to Japan and leaving. So let's call that trying, giving it a go. And the second thing I would say is giving it a go in the best possible way, but also coming back alive. Like that has to be high up there. And then the third thing is learning. I mean all of these things I've been exposed to, these like wearable technologies, these amazing people. The fourth thing is inspiring children, girls in particular. It has to be meaningful and not just to me. I want to be the first woman to achieve this extraordinary feat but that's less of the driving force than it is to see if it's even possible for a woman and for that woman being me.
Just tell us soon.